10. Some revolting sacrificial rite has been performed. What depth a human being can sink to. What human being could have done this? That is precisely what I intend to find out. Be so certain that somebody took one of the bishop's spiders and deliberately placed it in... Nine. I should hate to have you take cold and die of natural causes. That would defeat the ends of injustice, wouldn't it? You see, we've been expecting you. Obviously. But what made you think I'd come here alone? Your somewhat overdeveloped sense of drama, Mr. Holmes. Oh? Yes. If we'd permitted you to play... For reasons Eight. of discretion, I have decided to withhold from the public until this much later date. They involve matters of a delicate and sometimes scandalous nature, as will shortly become. Why did you bring her here? I found this in her hand. 221B Baker Street. Which one of you is Hello, Watson. Seven. Hello. Too bad you're late. Old chap was here to see you. Oh? Sorry to have missed you. What old chap? Theophilus Kirby. Hmm. Lord Farnsworth's uncle. You remember the Farnsworth case? Yes, indeed I do. And I remember Theophilus Kirby, too. Quite a scholar. And like most scholars, Paulus Six. Six. Almonds. How do you know? Because I put it in his drink myself. You did? Great Scott, why? To observe his reaction, it was quite different from that of the morning. The first was acting, the second, genuine terror. Hence, I knew that he'd undoubtedly planted the needle himself. Oh, why should he? Five. A monster who uses for his weapon of death a five-pronged garden weeder. Yes, that's a little more in my line. I... I don't know what you mean. I mean that this monster's been recreated and used as a screen behind which to commit a horrible crime. Whoever did it felt certain that no suspicion could possibly fall on him. Four. Yes, Miss Brandon? Why, oh, I shouldn't have written you as I did, Mr. Holmes, and then burst in in this melodramatic way. But I had to see you. Oh, that doesn't matter, Miss Brandon. There's no more resolutely informal household in all London than mine. You're very kind. Not at all. Only I don't understand why you wish to consult me about a garden bar. I see. Three. Uh, when did he tell you that he was a detective? At the station, sir. When he gave me the two guineas, what he'd promised me. Mm -hmm. uh, did he tell you his name? Yes, sir. Uh, what did he say it was? Sherlock Holmes, sir. What? Well, that's the name what he gave me, sir. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> this is the most two. important case of my career. What are we up against here? The most formidable criminal mind in Europe. Professor James Moriarty. If we can stop him, we shall prevent the collapse of Western civilization. There isn't any One. time to waste them. Is there? It does make a considerable difference to me having someone with me on whom I can thoroughly rely. Oh, it's nice to see you, Watson. <sighs> Lord Blackwood. The witness stated.